This is a redo. My first attempt at a review for my Husqvarna lawnmower was a disaster. I tried to do it without a camera lady. And the, the image started this way and then it went this way and people were trying to watch it on their TVs like this. And, and I, it's gotten some decent search results, so I wanted to redo it. Anyway, um, it's been a few more months too, so that's good. We are right at about the one year mark. Uh, I'll tell you how many hours are on it just in a second once I, I turn the switch, because I don't remember. Um, if you look right here, first and foremost, I like that the most proudly built in America. Uh, you'll also notice if you look close, there's a bunch of dirt on it. I've got some scratches up here on the brush guard. It has been used a little bit, okay? I mean, it's a year in. I don't clean this thing at all ever because that's just the kind of sloppy, nasty person I am. Um, I clean it as much as it needs to be cleaned. Funny story, I probably should have cleaned my last one more. Uh, it was an old John Deere, uh, great mower, and it caught fire because it backfired into um, some hay, some grass that had been caught up on, in the frame rails because I didn't clean it and it literally caught fire. So this is the replacement for that one. Um, you've got a Kohler 7000 series, 22 horsepower engine. I haven't had a lick of problems out of it. Engine made in the US as well. Here's your dipstick, nice and handy. You can reach it from your seat. Uh, batteries right there, standard stuff. Um, I'm not gonna bore you with those details. You probably just wanna see it run and do some mowing. Um, one thing I don't like to start with, actually, one of only two things that come to mind that, that are really kind of irritating to me, this deck guard. There's no metal protrusion part like they used to have. So this is throwing stuff up. So the guard comes down. The problem is sometimes the guard comes down forward. Come over here and look. So if the guard's coming down forward or, or if it's lifting up because it's ejecting so much grass, there's a gap here. Well right in line is my face so sometimes it'll throw stuff right at my face and and so you're you have to wear safety glasses or sunglasses or something because it might throw something at you it's irritating i actually put tape a while back and it came up like a little mini guard i need to replace it because you know it's just tape or i'll put some kind of riveted on i don't know what i'm going to do with it but for now i just wear glasses because it's going to throw stuff at you occasionally. So that's grape number one. Grape number two, you might see a little later. When you go to shut it off, it like sputters like it's a diesel trying to keep running, even though the tur uh, ignition's turned off. And to, to remedy that, I just throw the deck on because it bogs the engine down and kills it. So hopefully you'll see that later. Let's do some more. I'm going to go down this ridge just a little ways and double back, just do a couple laps. So you can see how it mows. I'm going to keep it at uh, three and a half inches, which is as high as it can mow. That would be a gripe if I didn't have a relatively good yard. So if you're, if you're trying to mow fields regularly, well, you probably know the struggle with lawnmowers that the decks can't come up very high. That's as high as it comes up right there. I mean, three and a half, seriously. You can adjust on the side, but at some point, you know, there's not much give before it hits the bottom of the frame anyway. All right, I'm talking too much. Let's mow.
only sputtered once that time and it actually shut down. But it'll do that a little bit depending on how long you've been running it. It just wants to keep running, I guess. So if it does that again, I'll just do that and it bogs the engine down and it quits. All right, so let's take a look at how long it was. This is a hay field. Um, I haven't sharped the blades a single time in a year. Ooh, before I lose you, we are at 63 hours of time on this mower. And, uh, and I haven't mo uh, sharpened the blades a single time. It's still doing a pretty good job. I wasn't going top speed, but I wasn't crawling either. Um, and look what I've got. And you might be wondering, why did he blow it in like that? You're, you'll see in a following video. Um, but you get to see, come on down real low and you'll see how long this grass is. Okay, so it, it'll, you know, it'll clean out a field. I've done much, much uh, higher than that before, uh, clearing out, you know, pasture area and stuff like that. And you just, you'll, you'll have to go over it a couple times if you're dealing with stuff that's true, like ready to cut hay height. Um, anyway, uh, camera lady, what do you think what I need to add to this video? I don't know. It is the Husqvarna TS146XK, uh, 40, what is this, a 42 inch, a 46 inch deck right there. If you look at the guard, it tells you that. Um, gosh. I think that's all anybody wants to see anyway. Just kind of watch it mow. Uh, the hitch is going to be used here. Uh, I've used this several times for different things. I used it for a pull behind rototiller, which is right over here. You can see that in a different video. I'm about to use it in this, or with this implement, a John Deere uh, lawn sweeper. And uh, that'll be interesting. So, hint, I'm going to make hay with that. So... If you're interested in that sort of thing for rabbits or whoever eats little pieces of hay, it'll work. Anything else, camera lady? No. You're being awfully quiet today. I, I, I'm trying my best to, to change my... It's too hot. My <laughs> It's too hot. What is it today, 90? Plus Close? whatever Close? humidity is like 200%. Anyway, I, I, I like it. Um, I recommend it if you can get over those couple of uh, peeves that I have. So anyway, have a good one.